Hey beautiful, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do us another Makeup Basics video and we are going to combine a couple of things this time. We are going to talk about eyeliner and mascara. Now I figured they kind of go together and with mascara it's pretty simple but I do have a few little tricks for you out there so why don't we get started and get diving into this eyeliner. Because it's like it's my kryptonite. I am not perfect at doing wings yet but I do have kind of the basics down and I can at least show you how to get started there. Plus, if I mess up, and girl, you know I'm gonna, I got a couple of hacks here that I can show you how to clean up your eyeliner without totally screwing up your whole face of makeup. So, eyeliner comes in many different forms, and depending on what you like and what you prefer, it's all up to your preference. So, it comes in pencil liners, and actually, currently, this little black one right here is my favorite. This is the Makeup Forever Aqua XL uh, Cream Pencil Eyeliner. Generally, I don't like these, but um, I've been digging it on the lower lash line lately. I don't usually use pencil eyeliners to do my upper lash line, but... They can do a nice, pretty, colorful, thick line if you want to go with a colorful pencil. Next up, we got the liquid eyeliners, and you can get them in, like, pen form. Basically, they come with a felt tip, somewhat like a marker, and, you know, these are great, too, especially if you are just starting out. Um, but I prefer to use my little $2 e.l.f. eyeliner. I like this because I use a bent liner brush, which I will grab in just a second. And, you know, I actually prefer these because, yeah, you can crack them open. They come with their own little wand slash brush, but because it's open at the top there, you can actually go in with your own brush. And there are a couple of different types that you can use. This one right here, first off, is kind of a flat liner brush. It's very thin and while this one this one isn't as stiff as I would like it to be when you're using a liner brush type of a brush it's best to go with the most stiff option that you can to create a very nice clean line and the stiffer and thinner at the top the thinner the line you can get and if you're like me, you prefer to tight line and have just a little line, not, you know, half of your lid covered. But that's how you like to do it, baby. You do you. You go for it. And then we've got a couple of angled liner brushes. Ooh, got a third even. So these, as you can see, they're kind of angled and start kind of lower and get longer at the end. This middle one is kind of thicker towards the end, so I don't like to use this. This one actually works better for, um, for brow products, but these two are very thin at the ends there and they work really well for doing that line and actually I like doing this um, I like using these for the wing but they have come out with these nifty bent liner brushes and this girl has saved my life right here I have been digging the bent liner brush for a while now and you know I was really nervous about getting this just because it's so weird and like you're used to the straight brush and you know you, you just know you're used to it but when this came in it actually made it a whole lot easier because it's it's just ever so slightly bent and you can really I don't know it just feels so much more comfortable to use so if you haven't tried one of these I highly recommend checking them out and then there is one more um, liner tool. Where did I set mine? So this is a smudger, and this you can use more with um, cream liners, which do come in the pencil form, but this isn't an eyeliner, but just as an example. They also come in little pots very similar to this one. So you can just crack it open and kind of stick your brush in there. But if you're looking for like a really 
If you're going for like a really smoky eye look, you can use your smudger and just kind of pull it off and you can pull it off very well because it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect when using a smudger. So that's another uh, beginner tip and trick right there. Now, one more thing that I thought was worth mentioning before we just kind of dive in and I try to show you how to do some eyeliner. Now, there's different uh, placements for eyeliner and there's different places to put it. I know um, some of you watch the bigger channels and they're always talking about, you know, your, your lower lash line, your water line, like what is what? Well, up top, don't mean to get all up in your personal space, but I'm about to. So up top is where I prefer to put my eyeliner, and that is the upper lash line. My little sister likes to take some eyeliner and put it right kind of on what I would call the upper water line, because it is, it's like right, right on the inside. I can't do that, girl. But then down here, so... I call this the underline, but that is considered your lower lash line right underneath. And then right on top, if you were to pull your eye down and do your eyeliner there, that's the waterline. So I prefer to use a pencil or cream liner on my lower lash line just because I feel like, you know, even if you don't mean to, if you got allergies or something and you tear up, Using a liquid eyeliner will just come running off. I don't care how waterproof it is. It, it comes right off. And, baby, if you are trying to get a really clean and cut eyeliner slash wing on your lid, girl, you should try going in with liquid eyeliner because you, you can definitely pull off a wing or something with these. But I feel like these do much better for the precision end of eyeliner. And I also feel like, you know, pens will get you by. But if you get the open top or, shoot, even the little cream pot and use one of the brushes that I showed you, I feel like it does a much better job and it's a little bit... Right, honey, enough blabbering. I'm going to start with my favorite uh, Makeup Forever Aqua XL liner, the little pencil on my lower lash line. And to do this, you just kind of pull down. Don't poke yourself in the eye, girl. And you just kind of throw it on there. This one is really easy, but I know a lot of people, um, a lot of people, it feels weird. And... They prefer to go with the lower lash line, and that is fine. I also recommend um, using a pencil liner for the lower lash line as well. And this is nice and easy. You just throw it on. And uh, I like to take my uh, waterline eyeliner all the way in, and I like to add just tiny little wings at the end there too. Um, another option for your lower lash line slash waterline is to go in with like a white or a baby pink color and this can help actually kind of open up your eye space and kind of make you look a little bit more awake while the black is nice and smoky and traditional. One little hack that can help keep your eyeliner locked in is to take some eyeshadow and actually kind of just throw it on and directly underneath that. That kind of helps set it. You know, um, think of setting powder, girl. It's just like that except for your eyes. So I've got my favorite um, liquid eyeliner right here, my little e.l.f. $2 eyeliner. I'm so proud of it because, girl, this is, one of, like, this is like one of my favorite drugstore finds. So I'm going to take my bent liner brush and I'm going to just go around the edge a little bit. Put this back. Set her down. And what I like to do is whether you have a baby wipe or a paper towel, a napkin or something, just kind of get that excess off of there or you're going to end up with a whole lot of black paint on your face and it doesn't really look like there's excess on there, but look at that girl. There was a lot of eyeliner on there and I don't do the tip too much, but 
just another little dab will do. Now I find for beginners it's actually easiest to start at the wing and then kind of draw your line in but start however you'd like. I I kind of do a little bit of both. Some days I do the wing first, some days I do the line first. We'll just see. So for a wing, I think one of the easiest ways to figure out where you should start is find like the bottom part of your eyebrow. And what you want to do is kind of have that wing pointed out that way. And to get started when you're just kind of learning how to do this, Putting a little dot right there to kind of mark where you want it to go will totally help guide you. That dot on there, baby, just make a line from that dot down to the corner of your eye diagonally. So I drew the line a little bit thick, but I wanted to make sure that y'all could see it. And basically we just have kind of like a long eyelash coming up from our eye at this point and we are gonna just do the same thing on the other side but we are gonna go down and we're gonna go a little bit into our eye and we are just gonna take it down onto our lid and you see how I kind of drew across my lid a little bit I didn't just stop at the corner of my eye again you want to take it right over I stop about a third to halfway through my lid and you can just fill that line in. Alright babe, so you get to this point, you got your line on, you did your wing and you're like, oopsie, I messed up. Girl, here are a few ideas for you. So you can take the eyeshadow that you have on your lid and take what I do is I use my little detail brush this is what I use for my inner corner highlight and my brow bone and you can just take your little eyeshadow get a good bit on the very tip of that and just go through and pat it over top of like say right there I went a little bit thick just keep patting it over top right along the edge don't worry if you get a little bit too far down, you can go back and add just a smidge of black liner, but you just keep patting it on. Now this isn't a perfect solution, but if you just got like a little bump or a little uneven area, this will definitely take care of it. And while you will probably still notice, most people will not. If you actually mess up on the actual wing, what can you do? So first off, you can take one of your uh, angled liner brushes and some concealer. I like to use this little, it's like another detail brush, but it's kind of like a liner brush too. Like it's trying to be a little of both. Well, I take just a little bit of the concealer and be very careful because you can get a whole lot more product on your brush than you really think. So I like to kind of pat it down onto my hand and get the extra product out. And you can go, especially if it's like the bottom side where you made your little oopsie, you can just go along the edge and kind of cut it. Then just kind of take that brush and start pulling it down and blending it out a little bit so it doesn't look as harsh. Let's say you get to that point or even before and the wing itself is just, it's irreparable. You cannot fix it. There's no way to make it any better without removing it and starting over. But girl, don't be wiping your entire eye just yet. So if you do not have access to a waterproof eye makeup remover like this, most of them actually look like this too with some clear stuff and some blue stuff down there. You can take just a little bit on a little towel or like I've got a makeup eraser right here and you can get that right off. You can do a precision job by using the little detail brush that I like. Just dab it on and then take her off. But if you do not have that, you can take a face primer and I prefer the Smashbox Photo Finish or something like this. I have found that um, matte face primers do not do the trick like these do. 
so fine. So you take just a little dab of that on your hand and you take the tip of your brush and you really get a good bit up on there. You want a good, good dab, pretty much the entire thing. And start patting it on your wing. Take a little bit more if necessary, but you don't need a ton. It will, it will work its magic. Just give it a sec. So we will put a little bit more on, and we're going to wait, I don't know, maybe 20 seconds, and I will show you what then. Baby wipe at the tip of the finger, or um, even a paper towel, wet or dry. You could take your makeup eraser again what have you. Now, once it's been sitting there for a few seconds, just wipe it off and it will start coming. And as you can see, it's, it's taken a minute, but it's taking all of that wing with it and it will not take a whole bunch of your makeup. Because that primer's already on there, you can even take a little bit more and start wiping. And it's almost gone. And it's just that little section right there with the face primer. It is going to take time and practice to really get that down. And I really prefer to not use the little dot trick. I just kind of go at it. I think that gives it more of a precision than just, you know, kind of a dot at the top. You can also kind of pull your liner up just a little bit if it's too fat at the top. And just kind of give it a good sharp edge. Now, you can personally, for most um, eye looks, I actually prefer to just do a quick little tight line with a tiny little, very upward pointing um, wing. So it's not quite kind of long and not really flat, but it's not like super pointed when I go by the bottom of my eyebrow, but I kind of go up to where my eyebrow curves. Now that's another good starting point if you want to get that kind of um, kind of upward wing, and that's what I prefer, that's what I like, but girl, you do you. Now say you get to this point and you were like, to hell with it, I am not going to mess with my eyeliner again today, or you don't even like doing eyeliner up top, but you still want the definition of maybe, you know, somewhat of a liner. So what you can do is actually take one of your liner brushes and go in with a dark eyeshadow. Now this will not give like a super defined look. You can wet your brush with setting spray and maybe even water, though I don't think it'll work as well, and make it a little bit more intense. But this is more to add like the definition and kind of the shadow and you just go in with a nice dark liner and line it how you would like over top of your eyelid color so when you do this unless you are using like say a black shadow which I have plenty of and I could do I'm actually gonna go in and test this out with this nice purple this is prima donna from the Too Faced return of sexy palette and this is one of my old favorites, and this purple right here especially, if you can tell, I love this one. So you just kind of go through and add just a little bit of a line. I don't recommend really going for a wing, um, just because, as you can see, I added a good bit of that color, and it didn't really, didn't really wing it out for me. So, oh, okay. So maybe with a really dark pigmented um, eyeshadow and definitely a black, you could pull off a good solid wing with it. But if you were just... Of course, you can do the same thing on the lower lash line, whether you add it to the eyeliner that you've already got down there, or you just don't want to use liner down there, girl, that's fine. Just um, grab your favorite eyeshadow. Though I will say that it does look much better when you use a darker color underneath than what's on your lid. But if you are going for a colorful look or you're trying to add a pop of color, that's okay too. Just throw a right down on there and I prefer a much thicker kind of liner brush than what we would use say on our top lash line and this kind of just kind of shades it in and I recommend 
highly recommend against throwing um, eyeshadow right on your waterline. It just ain't going to work out, baby. So you ain't even got to test that. But right underneath on your lower lash line, you can just throw it on there. I got eyeshadow left on there. Mm. So that's how you do that. Now, before I get going, I did want to cover a couple of quick things when it comes to mascara. And I figure for this one, I would use my favorite drugstore mascara because this is an excellent example of a couple of different options. So this is the Scandal Eyes Extreme from Rimmel London. And basically this applicator is interesting compared to most because it has two different shapes to it. So at the very top, if you can see, this is just kind of like a straight line. And on the very bottom, it's somewhat it's somewhat U-shaped. So the straight one kind of helps give you length and the bottom down there kind of helps push your lashes up and curl them a little bit. So it really depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a little bit of both, obviously this one could be potentially um, beneficial to you, but there are also other brushes. Let me see. So yeah, this one is the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced, and this brush is kind of, um, it's kind of spiraled. I know you can't really tell from the camera, but it's kind of spiraled, and it has somewhat of a hourglass shape. So this one kind of, it kind of does a little bit of both. Because it is somewhat U-shaped in areas, it will help push up your um, lashes as well as curl them but the spiral also kind of helps it um, get in there really evenly on each lash and this also kind of helps um, like shape your lashes because it's thicker on the outer edges and kind of like I said you shaped on the inside it can really give the outer areas of your lashes an extra little boost. All right, darling, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed our Makeup Basics little tutorial to kind of get you started. Like I said, I'm sorry I'm not perfect at the eyeliner thing yet, but as I go through and experiment and kind of get more familiar with all the tools, I think I will come back and do a little update. Please let me know down in the comments what you thought of this video and what you think my next um, Makeup Basics video should be. Uh, check out my Makeup Basics playlist to see what I've already covered and let me know your thoughts. I love hearing from you. In the meantime, girl, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons just down below right there. and. Go out and spread some love and positivity today. We could all use some extra. You are beautiful, and I love y'all. Bye, everyone. Uh, figures the first time I go in. Redo.